Nokia Lumia 920, which we just announced today. With Nokia, this is Nokia's flagship Windows Phone device, running Windows Phone 8. So, um, there's a few things I like to talk about the hardware first. The first is the screen. So, this, this display is the brightest display that you'll find. It's actually twice as bright as its next competitor. So, they like to measure that in something called nits. This is 600. The next competitor is at 300 nits. So, what that translates to is amazing outdoor readability in bright sunlight. Most people you see when they use their phone are kind of looking for shade. You don't need to do that with the phone. It also has a polarizing filter on here, which helps cut down on that glare. The second thing about this display is it's high resolution. So most people define high resolution as 720p or better. This is a WXGA, which is 1.8 by 768. So is that a new standard for Microsoft? Or? I'm sorry. Is that a new standard for Microsoft? Or? It's not, but it's now available. So what we've done is, with Windows Phone 8, we now allow more resolutions. So that gives the device manufacturer more choices. Sorry, and that's really hard to hear. It's a high resolution, super bright. And, and the curved the, screen. What's that? The curved screen. The curvature yeah. on the display. I love that. Yeah. And it's got the clear black technology, so it's AMOLED, but what that does is it gives you better battery life. So when you look at the blacks, no energy is running through those pixels, which means it's not wasting battery life. But it's got a 2,000 milliamp battery, so it's going to last you the whole day. To complement that great screen, it's the amazing Pureview camera. So it's a little different than the Pureview on, uh, that they announced earlier as far as megapixels. This one is it's got a very wide aperture, so it's 2.0 on the aperture. But typically, what happens when you have a wide aperture is more light gets in, which is great, but it also adds focus problems, making very blurry photos because more light that comes in and can't compensate. So, what they've done with this lens is they surrounded it in an array of springs and they tie that to the gyroscope. As you move, the lens is actually adjusting for that movement, which lets you take amazing photos. Yeah. 
overrules the rest of the background. But if it were my pitcher, I could let this person move, the, the Courtney player, and it wouldn't do that. So it's really a fun way to be able to interact with the photos and do something creative. But that's just one example. And you're going to see lots and lots of, of lenses show up. Thanks. Yeah. 